on to uh, answering Abby's questions. <coughs> yes, I do mind about being either buried or cremated. I would much rather be buried without preservatives. There is no God to become one with. There is no heaven. There is no afterlife. Therefore, if I bury myself with preservatives in me, then I'm going to look pretty for about two hours for the open casket and then be thrown in the ground where the preservatives will poison the ground. I don't want that. I want to go in the ground au naturel. That way I can become fertilizer. And literally in death become one with nature. But if indeed I get cremated by some fucking mix up, then whoever does it better fucking scatter my ashes in a holy water tank at a Catholic church. Now, my headstone, I don't want a cross because that would cause misconceptions about me and the life I lived. I wouldn't mind one of those unknown headstones. As long as it has no religious symbol on it, I'd be fine. However, I would like a fucking big old red A on it. Obvious reasons there. And I wouldn't want to be buried near a cross. Or a cemetery with a Christian name. Like Our Lady of Sorrows or you know, some Christ faggotry like that. I wouldn't mind being buried up here. But... Once you're dead, why the hell would you care? You're dead. Your body is going to rot. All that's going to be left of you is memories. So, let that be a life goal. To give people good memories of you. Anyway, this is the Reverend Pope Foxy Fox. Don't ask, damn it, I didn't do it. And that was my response video. So, <clears throat> I, like my biological mother, am a cemetery junkie. I have massive amounts of photographs, videos, and shit like that of old cemeteries in the area. Now, one thing that fascinates me the most about Dayton Valley Cemetery is this. Unknown. And hey, someone left a penny. Unknown. Unknown. Yet another penny. Unknown. Unknown. I'm just hoping these fucking things don't cave in. <laughs> unknown. There's two more unknowns right there. Here's a headstone that's been repaired. In memory of, uh, Thomas J. Holmes died April 27th, 
1865. He's a native of New York. Why the hell he came here, I'll never know. In 1865, this area was primarily a mining town. Up that way, I'm pointing with a flag. Somewhere in those mountains is Virginia City, which is the home of the uh, Comstock load. Off in those mountains up there is an old mining town named Como. Long since abandoned, but it was one of the largest China pits in Nevada in history. <coughs> Some of the buildings still stand. It takes a lot of off-roading and a lot of skill to get up to it. But you go into a few of the buildings, you go down the stairs, and you see opium pits. Places where they made and used opium. It's fucking crazy. It's a beautiful day to be in a cemetery, though. One final thing. Forgotten stones? Look at these planks. This one right here. 1879. That one, unknown. That one, 1866. One has gone missing. Look at the woodwork, though. It's quite beautiful. But, as in all things, not exactly permanent. Peace, guys.